Hey, baby K, who's this? Elijah. Elijah. Tell us about him, Adam. It's Elijah Amos Waller. He was born on August the 25th, 2014, and this is his big sister, Kyla. And what a great time to be born in the year 2014 when everything's going great in our culture, right? Not exactly. Not exactly. Not exactly. <laughs> but when I look at him, I recognize that God can bring new beginnings. I remember when you were that age, and we didn't have always the smoothest sailing in your life. <laughs> we needed some new beginnings. Uh, but I just believe this is the most awesome time. Adam, what's your heart right now? You've seen this little precious guy and this little girl of raising a family in this generation. Well, I see the responsibility of it. It's a huge responsibility, but it's such a great opportunity at the same time because I have the opportunity, we have the opportunity to raise our children in the ways of the Lord and, and nurture them and disciple them and then send them off when they're ready to make a difference in this dark world. What kind of darkness? Well, we see 1% of this generation of young people, the young generation, the millennials, having a, a true biblical worldview. We see crazy things like terrorist attacks. We see, even last week, a, a crazy study that says that 3% of Christian men never see pornography. Only 3 Only 100? 3 I read that, and that can't be right. So I'm looking around thinking, how are we going to get these precious children and in some ways, it seems easier with them than the ones at our house right now. Yeah, right? sometimes with we, teenagers, it's a, it's a challenge. We live in a difficult culture. But you know, God always has a plan, and His promise right. is mm -hmm. that He'll always preserve a remnant. Yes. That's what's kind of neat about His name. We didn't even know He was going to be named Elijah, and yet we're about ready to launch a new project to help families across America mm -hmm. to stand in difficult times. And, you know, Lisa, we sent out a survey to over 10,000 people on our contact list to ask them what they needed right, right now, now as help mm -hmm. to raise them in a dark generation. But we have a promise from God that if we will fear the Lord and delight in His commands, our children will be mighty in the land. As a family, we're called to help other families raise their children to be mighty in the land. I am so excited. We have a plan. Doug, what is the plan? Project 7000. We sent out a poll to over 10,000 people all across America and we found three primary things they felt a need for to raise their families in a dark culture. And so the name Project 7000, where do we get that? Get it from the story of Elijah. Elijah? That's why the name of our grandson was so excited, <laughs> born right. seven days ago. You they know, didn't Elijah, plan that. That's Elijah, right. after defeating the prophets of Baal, he said, God, I'm the only one left standing. But what did God say, Hannah? I reserved for myself 7,000. Not bowed their knee to bail. That's what Project 7000 right. is, is people who do not want and are not willing to bow their knee to bail, but they're looking for help to stand. Yes, we found in the survey some common themes began to emerge. And we also have discovered that in this dark culture, we need some help right now. Did you know that Barner released a study about three weeks ago and found that about 90% of American pastors are not talking about these cultural issues that are hitting our culture and hitting the church well, so hard. Well, it's no wonder, Lisa. It's, it's a no challenging wonder. time to try to do that. It's very scary as a pastor. pastors who have been under persecution, that's and that right. persecution will continue and grow in the culture that we're living in right now. And that's why we need a plan, a way that we can strengthen families. So, Doug, what did we find were those three themes that over and over and over again came up in the survey? Number one, help me to defend my faith and to build a biblical worldview. Only one in a hundred millennials right now have a biblical worldview. And so we need to help our children and us know how to think and interpret the times we're living in. Number, Number two, two, people are crying out for help in building family relationships. The connection between parents and children is so critical in the day we live in. And not just parents, but grandparents. You see, if we can't make a connection with the heart, we'll never be able to connect with our faith. Number three. Number three, people are saying, give me some positive role models. I feel discouraged when I look around and I can't find anyone. Hannah? Tell us about the issue of role models right now. Well, you know, there are role models that our kids are looking for. There are role models in the media. There's models, actors, musicians. There's kids. There's people our kids are looking at. But if we can put role models that are godly and examples that kids want to follow, then they're going to be that much more likely to go after something that looks like it has some life in it. That's what Project 7000 yes. is all about, yes. to focus like a laser on those three things. And so we have a plan, we have a system, and in the next video we'll tell you exactly how you can tap in, whether you're a grandparent, a parent, a pastor, or whether you're a teenager listening. We have a place for you to gain all three of those things. 
Now we're launching it on what strategic day? September 11th. What September 11th. day to yes. stand against the terror, yes. against our yes. society. And I'm going to be traveling right down to Washington, D.C. to kick that off with a live presentation and to be able to be praying mm -hmm. right there on Capitol Hill over what's going on. If you live anywhere near Washington, D.C., we'd love for you to come and join us on that day. If not, you'll be able to connect with us through our technology so that you can be a part of that launch of Project 7000. So we'll see you in just a couple days to tell you more about how you can be involved. Nailed it. We nailed that video.